Uh, eat, drink and be merry. It's yes. what this time of year yes. is all about. So, um, Frankie, we've got here some Brussels sprout ketchup. Mm. Uh, Kelly, I perhaps... don't even like normal ketchup. Well, there you go. You can have a change. Kelly, I don't know if you fancy Brussels sprout gin. Uh, Denise, you Brilliant. can dig into gin. the uh, Boxing Day curry crisps. And some mince pie popcorn. Oh, I love what do you think? The problem with mince pies is I've never met a mince pie I didn't like, but I can't <laughs> eat just one. But I'm I'm game for this. I like the idea yeah. of the Brussels sprout no, you're, ketchup. You're gonna no. Oh, no, oh you don't it. drink it, Jonathan. <laughs> That's not it, Jonathan. That's it. Well, this is good, whatever this is. <laughs> that. <laughs> No, 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 that's oh. right. Oh, that's a spice, spice canberry, cranberry. Well, well, that's 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 you like it? One. You have another one. You have two of those. Wait, Thank you very much. Like like it looks green Oh, that gross. smells quite unpleasant. No, it's right. horrible. Okay, go on then. This the Brussels is, this sprout is ketchup. This is like the jungle. Is it? It's not, not really so bad. bad. No? Oh, no. <laughs> your voice says differently. No, I mean, I wouldn't want to drink it. It's not meant for drinking, but I would dip stuff in it. Would you? That wasn't an invitation, but OK. Are you generally an adventurous eater? I'll eat anything. Will you? Yeah. And I have eaten everything. Yeah, yeah. that's another I'm a celeb one. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, weirdly, yeah. it tastes better disgusting. on its own than with the crisps. Really? But the crisps that's are good. That's not a surprise. What flavour are the crisps? They, they, they are, are um, curry. curry. Boxing well, Day curry it. You don't crisps. put Brussels sprouts with curry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mm. put Brussels They're sprouts good. with ketchup? Very nice. Or... So what is the weirdest thing you've ever eaten, then, if this is not good. the weirdest? Um, I've eaten frogs. I've eaten... Crickets. I've eaten a live cricket once. I've eaten lots of live flies, but that's accidental because I used to ride a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get me. You know, protein. Free protein. Um, I, I ate. Um, I ate. I went to a place in America. I was making a documentary about this place where they deliberately give you weird food, and I think I had zebra. Oh. Yeah. I ate horse once. I've eaten puffin. You had Aww. horse. I had horse no. in France. In France, eat I was it all in the Iceland time. And I was in this fancy restaurant years ago, and I was eating so Indian though it was, but I didn't. You know what's weird? Psychologically, Psychologically I couldn't yeah. bear eating mm. the horse. Yeah. And, and even though, you know, they eat it the same way that we would eat cows in this country, and I don't eat meat anymore, but they, they would eat it. And, and I remember having it, and I, once I knew what it was, I, I know. couldn't. No, I yeah, can't I eat rabbit that. for that reason. Oh, I God. Just, I, I, although I never really thought I was, like, that mad on rabbits, but just the thought of eating yeah. them, I just, like, I used to think I was quite an adventurous eater, um, and I've realised I'm not. I'm not. If you go to... You know when you go to a posh restaurant and they have sort of, like... Veal sweetbread and bits of venisony stuff, and then you go there for the starter, and it's like forty-two pounds, and it's that big, yeah. oh. that big. Yeah. Nah, I just can't be. I can't be doing. And Frankie and I can't bear it when you have a drizzle of jus. It's like just <laughs> stop with What's your jus. <laughs> just have gravy just and be done with it. I like a bit of jus. Do you, you like a bit of jus? Do you what they do is, if you're, a, if you're in a nice restaurant, jus is when they've taken all the stock and they've cooked it right down. So no. it's really intense Here with the flavour. Mm. So you just gotta open yourself up. I know up I've to tried to, Jonathan, experience. but then they put all that foam on it. As well. I like the foam as well. Do you? I like the foam. Mm. I'll eat anything. Give me the chicken nuggets and chips and be done with it. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever had have you ever had um, puffer fish? No, no. no. Puffer fish. I had a feast no. of puffer fish and blowfish in Japan once, and it can kill you. So you have to go to a I was going to say that. I'm just it, not really got... sure that it's worth the risk. No, 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 no. It's got toxins in it, and when you eat it, then your mouth gets all tingly. You know, like when you've been to the dentist and the thing just starts wearing off? Yeah. And it's that nice feeling when you're just getting the feeling back. Oh, yeah, back. must have a but Why would you? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I did it because I was invited and I was too polite to say no. <laughs> and I had raw, a raw chicken meal in Japan once. Oh, my oh, goodness! That's no. surely well, well, We all think it could kill us, because we... we've been trying to believe it, but if it's really good quality, it was sliced really thin, it was chicken uh, sashimi. No, and once again, when we were eating, my wife and I were going... Ooh. But it was actually... But the feeling okay. of, like, uncooked chicken is... Like, yeah. Well, we weren't um, wobbling it around like that. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie, what I'm about at you. home? Do you have adventure stuff at home? Do you cook adventure stuff at home? I cook quite a lot for my wife, cos when she's working on a deadline making movies, I try and make a nice meal when she's coming home. So I was just boasting about my special potatoes from Frankie. I got the recipe off Instagram. Um, but, I mean, I will cook, but I, I like cooking, but I don't like making a big fuss of cooking. No. Right. The one thing I can't bear is if you're with someone who cooks and they don't tidy up while they're cooking. Oh, oh yeah. And you know no. when you're trying to eat the meal, but you're looking at that sink? Yeah, you've got to do it as yeah. you go. I do it all the way through. But well, I'm not a super adventurous cook, particularly. Well, but I, no. do do, I do Japanese food and Korean food. I make really? a okonomiyaki. What's that? Okonomiyaki? I'm not really sure what it is, but it's delicious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a fast food pan. It's like pancakes made out of like um, um, cabbage, 
and you put kimchi in there, you can put bacon, then you cover it with mayonnaise and barbecue sauce oh, at the God. end. So it's fried up. No, it's delicious. Sounds wow. Awful. Okonomiyaki. I think it's they don't okonomiyaki, it's no thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a lot of that in Newcastle, do they, Denise? <laughs> <laughs> no. They don't do okonomiyaki. No. It's kind of like bubble and squeak, basically. Yeah. It's Japanese version. <laughs> Apparently, the average Britain cooks uh, nine meals on rotation. No. And right. that is it. So I'd most of yeah, yeah. so You've got probably... your specialist meal and you know you can do it and you know what the recipes are needed. You know how to do it. You grab all the stuff and you can do it and it's quick. It's stir stir fry. Fry. Easy thing, stir fry. Listen, fry we are out of time for it. Most disappointing meal in the world, stir fry. <laughs> <laughs> stir fry. <laughs> what you're doing. We're out of time. I'm sorry, folks. We'll have to raise a glass. I know you're not on the alcohol, Jonathan. That's it for today. Yeah. Have a Happy wonderful New afternoon. Happy New Year. Happy Whatever New Year. it is you're doing. I've just got to try the Brussels sprout gin before we go. Oh. Hang on, have you tried it yet? Oh, is it that one? Oh, it oh my great. God, that is a way <laughs> to good gin. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Cheers.